Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. So the first thing I received in my package was the Ahava hand cream. It just says water and this smells really really good. It smells like baby products. Like if you know the Vino Baby or even like the Johnson's Johnson's uh, lotion. This is exactly what it smells like to me. It's like a really good clean baby smell. I like it. And it's very moisturizing on the hands too. Um, I, did re uh, I did apply it but I do feel like I need to reapply it. I feel like it doesn't really retain the moisture because my hands are back to being dry. The next thing is this Don't Despair Repair Bryogeo Leave strength and moisture leave-in mask so this is so weird that they would actually incorporate hair stuff because oh my bad i thought that boxycharm only did makeup stuff so i mean i guess this is okay i mean the hand cream was like i really didn't need that but this smells really good really really good i wish i would have sprayed this in my hair right now but i already have products in my hair so I'll check this out another time. Now for the most exciting part, which is for me, since I already did my foundation and um, concealer, I wanna go ahead and just dive into this palette. I mean, the packaging on the outside is nice. I heard nothing but good things, but I am going to be brutally honest and see if this palette is really worth your while. And yeah, we're gonna find out. That color is extremely pigmented. I really don't have to go back in for any more color. I, now I'm just trying to blend out the brown because I do feel like this is a little too strong. Um, but I'm assuming it's just the pigmentation. The next color I'm going to take is Mask Off, which is the green in this palette. And I'm going to take this on just a flat concealer brush and I'm going to do this dry onto the center of my eye just to see how much pigmentation it's really picking up. So that's just with one coat. So it's not as bright as I would like it to be but I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'm going to apply some coconut rose water to really see if that'll help brighten up the color. Now with a smaller brush I'm going to take Reveal which is maybe a blush color on a dome brush and I'm going to use this color for the outer corner of my eye. So in this area right here as well as the inner corner and blending this into the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and take sneak peek once again on a dense fluffy brush and go underneath the eye from the outer corner to the inner corner. Not all the way to the inner corner, my bad. To the middle of your eye. This is gonna help make your eyes look a lot larger instead of going all the way in. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this empty spot with Disguise, which is a beautiful purple color right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that on a flat concealer brush as long as with some coconut rose water. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Exposed as my inner color highlight, just right in the center. So the bronzer that I see in here, which is probably only this one, and it is the Enchantment shade. And now, you know I'm not gonna like this because it has shimmer. I never ever use shimmer as bronzer. So, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna like this. It's like too orangey. I'm only gonna use a little bit. Because, I mean, from a distance, it doesn't look that bad. You actually can't even see the shimmer, so I'll take that back. 
It's actually not that bad. I knew something wasn't right. I guess these are blushes and one is a highlight. So I used blush as contour and it's not looking so good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of my bronzer on top of this and then come back in for the highlight. Now that I've curled my eyelashes, the next product in the box is the it superhero mascara in super black now i'm very excited to use this because it did look like it worked on other people so we'll see how good it works on me since i do have um i i do have lashes they're just not uh long but they are somewhat full so i'm gonna go ahead and use this only one coat and we'll see so take a good look and let me know what you guys See? Okay, so that is one coat. I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's not like, wow. <laughs> I thought my lashes were going to be a lot more longer than this. Maybe with more coats. But I don't think that... Um, for the colors that I'm using. I actually want to use some lashes just to put the look a little bit more together. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my mom. She's so loud. Or my sister. My sister's really, really loud too on the phone. They talk to you like they're yelling at you. And this is the door closed, but whatever. Yeah, they're okay, but um, my lashes are like pretty messed up, so I probably won't use them like this. I'm just going to go ahead and slap on some false lashes, but I'm going to use this for my bottom lashes. And I hope that that looks a lot better than up here, because I'm noticing that the more layers I add on, I'm starting to get a little clumpy, just a little bit. And some lashes are shorter than the other. I don't know. It's just going to be better if I apply some false lashes. So the false lashes that I will be applying are these ones from the Dollar Lash Club. These ones are in Robin. And these are only a dollar and they're mink, supposedly. Um, I'm going to find out. They do feel like mink lashes. But we'll see if the dollar is really... Oh... The color we'll be taking for highlight is the Twilight, which is like a really pretty light champagne looking color. And I'm going to take this on a Wet n Wild highlighting brush just right here. So I'm going to look at it dry to see if... I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not blinding highlight. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply some Fix Plus or some coconut rose water or whatever. I like my highlight just to be a little bit blinding, just a little bit. So I saved the best for last, which this is. Oh, I just noticed they crossed this out. I wonder why. I wonder if Kat Von D knows. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah, okay, so this is in the color Bow and Arrow. Now it's crazy because I've always wanted to try Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks. So now that I have it in my hands, I'm like <gasps> screeching for happiness. Okay, so here I go.
Whoa, it's funny because you just push it down and it just. <laughs> so weird. Okay, anyway. I love the formula because I don't have to keep reapplying, like, to get that full coverage look. It's really pretty, but it's really hard for me to work with because I do have smaller lips. So. Sorry. It is kind of hard to work with if you have little lips. <laughs> Unless if you're good at lining that. But I didn't line mine, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is the finished look, finally. Um, let me know what you guys got inside the Boxy Charm. Also, if you're not part of the Boxy Charm family, I'm gonna go ahead and link down my link. That way, you guys can go ahead and just click that and do your monthly subscription. So, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye now.